Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so here we go. If you're looking at f of x and g of x, um, what we're doing is, guys, we've talked about adding, we've talked about subtracting, dividing, and multiplying functions. What we need to be looking at is what we're going to uh, call composition of functions. And pretty much composition of functions, what we're doing is we're going to plug one function into another function. So when we say f of g of x, or a lot of times we call this um, a fog, you can say what we're doing is we're actually determining, we're taking our function f of x, and wh what we're going to plug into our f of x is our g of x function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to evaluate my f of x function for g of x. So I look at g of x and I say g of x is x squared. So I'm going to plug in my, g, my x squared in for x. So this looks like square root of x squared, and I'm going to put it around parentheses to represent that's what I'm plugging in, plus 4. So when you're doing f of g of x, all you're doing is you're taking your g of x function and you're plugging it into the other function. Then I look at this and I say, all right, is there anything I can do to simplify this function? And there's nothing else we can do since we're, um, since my term is you know addition, I can't take the square root of this. It's just going to be, that's going to be the simplified version. Let's take a look at g of f of x. For g of f of x, I'm going to do the exact same thing, except now I'm going to plug in an f of x into my g of x function. So over here, I'm going to take my g of x, which is, it was supposed to be x squared, right? But I'm going to actually plug in what f of x is, which is the square root of x plus Four. Yes. How come for f of g you didn't just take um you didn't just get x plus two? Because um, what's going on, I guess. Uh, the reason why is if you look at it, your final answer is going to be x squared plus um, four. Because on, when you're doing this distributing of um, uh, of radicals. You cannot separate separate these as two different terms. You can't take the square root of x squared and the square root of 4. If it was like this, then, or 4x squared, then yes, you could take the square root of 4 and you could take the square root of x squared. But since this is, um, since you're adding, or whenever you're adding and subtracting, you cannot separate them. Okay? It's just a kind of a small relief in your uh, just trying to remember. However, in this case, though, we are able to simplify it because now we're taking the square, the square of a square root. So here, these actually cancel out. And what I'm left with is an x plus 4. Um, why is it, um, Go ahead. Yes? Um, why is it cancel Well, if you, you know, square root of 4 is? Square root of 4, what two numbers multiply to 4? 2. And then if I squared that, well, 2 squared is what? So really, what these are, these are, you know, the square root and the square of something, those cancel each other out. So your, your answer is going to get 4. So it doesn't matter what's in the, what you're taking the square root of or squaring, they're going to cancel each other out. They're opposite, they're opposite operations, just like adding and subtracting, multiplying and dividing. Uh, but here, guys, just remember, you cannot break that down into two different radicals. That is going to be as simplified as you can get. So that's how you find the composition of two functions.